and the second thing he was talking about okay so as you probably have noticed over the last three four weeks Kamavinga has come to a complete kind of stop in Real Madrid right his progression um, he doesn't I mean he hasn't have the kind of um, evolution of a player who already start I mean who started in the beginning of the season like crushing it scoring goals and doing a lot of great stuff uh, during the game and all the stuff and all the people going crazy about him and all and all the kind of things you know and for now over the last three four weeks he has lost a lot of uh bright right and right now it's pretty much on the bench all the time and that is responding to a kind of situation that Carlo Ancelotti has had with Camavinga and it is pretty much he has to um taught Camavinga he has to told Camavinga okay this is Real Madrid man and this is not the anarchy right this is not the chaos I mean as long as you are a Real Madrid player what you have to do is pretty much to stick to the plan and don't go crazy don't do crazy things because if i say do this just do this right and that happened in the game against i can't remember right now but that happened uh in one of the champions league games or something like that right after the game carl ancelotti and camavinga according to the rumors newspapers and media they had a kind of talk and they were talking about that and for some people it was kind of you know that Ancelotti punishing or disciplining to Camavinga but it's pretty much something that he told him so in a way to guide him through um, or what to play for Real Madrid is like you know what I'm saying he's trying to show Camavinga the right way to go in Real Madrid it's pretty much that right so what he said Carl Ancelotti this morning when he was asked about uh, Casemiro and if there are any kind of if there is any kind of replacement substitute for Casemiro Benzema Modric and stuff he responded players like I quote here players like Antonio Blanco or Camavinga are so young they are full energy full passion and sometimes you have to stop them a little bit so they work and they play a little bit more with the brain you know what I'm saying a kind of more uh, brainy thing right it's not about passion it's not about youth it's not about energy because they have plenty of that right but it's just about strategy tactics and things that they have to keep learning and understanding as the time goes by right so in my opinion that is exactly what happened but I don't think at all that Carlo Ancelotti has had any kind of beef or problem with Camavinga for him to keep him all the time on the bench right so it's the kind of evolution every single young player when he, he comes to Real Madrid has to have in Real Madrid um, if he wants to succeed in Los Blancos right so but I don't think there's anything else or any kind of beef or drama or something like that